Well, hello! Welcome to Drawing with Fire. I'm Valerie, your neighborhood biography artist. I'm joined with Hubby. I'm Cap. And today we're going to talk about ugly stage and putting in um, the last of the dark lay-in detail for this last um, snowflake. There's still a bunch I got to do. I'm going to start off with the 18S set on two so we can get these little areas that I kind of drew in. And then we will discuss ugly, ugly stage. Hey, Andrea, Burl, and Spence, and Mark, hello. So everything sounds okay, looks okay, because if so, I'm going to get a cup, sip of a hot cocoa, and we're going to go. More. And that's hot. I guess that's why they call it hot cocoa. Morris was asking about me today. Oh, I'm right here. He's asking how you're doing. I live. I live. We'll focus on that. Alrighty, so I need to get in around these dark areas. And I did post, I pulled up a photo of the actual um, picture that I'm using so you can see the dark background. I need to post that in the special group so you can see that a lot of this dark around here is coming from the background and not the foreground so i need to put and once i put in the darks like i did here it starts to look a little little better um this is going to be hot and we're just going to go in so make sure i'm on the right arm i've been having to keep the photo close because it is a lot of detail so I'm going to lay that in, and this is little. And remember, I changed my snowflake a little bit on some of the arms. So I'm going to blend it out in order to keep it as smooth as possible. And because I'm going in a little area, even on two, this pin is hot. So I'm just going to get that in. Now this piece has been staying in the ugly stage a lot longer than I'm used to and I think it's just because of what it is and a lot of this I have been uh, I didn't transfer a lot of lines so I'm having to take my time and get some of that information laid down as I go versus being able to just go but it is staying ugly longer and I'm having to push myself to keep going with this and that is completely normal in most cases. Um, and as it turns out, I was looking at the wrong arm, but... So, uh, Bright Morningstar... Hey, Angela! Yeah, that, that's what I was trying to remember. <laughs> Goha is here from Poland. Hello, Goha. Beryl. Gohu. Gohu. What is it? Uh, I don't want to say it wrong. Goha. Goha. Hello, Goha. Yes, um... Jason got punished. <laughs> Remember? Because you missed Angela's question. Oh, yeah. What happened? What? I don't talk about it. <laughs> I, I, I can never be mean, but I can do what I did. Angela knows what I did. I, I don't want to talk about it. Why? Because you don't want them to pop up questions and hope you miss them? No. So, it was... Get tickled for three minutes or until he couldn't handle it, whichever came first. I couldn't handle it. <laughs> he couldn't handle it 30 seconds. <laughs> but it made me feel better. So now that is. It's all about you, as long as it makes you feel better. <laughs> That's going to be the standard now. You miss a question and I find out about it. No, don't say that because what Burl will do, Burl will, will find a way. She'll find a way to either okay. distract me or she'll wait till I'm doing something and then and then they'll conspire. Chat will conspire against me and there'll be like a bunch of questions. Well, then he'll have to pay attention. So right now I'm putting in those darks and trying to make sure that I, where it needs a halo, I get it in there. And as we darken and fill in these areas, these darker details, the arms I guess we can call them have been standing out a little bit more we also still have to keep our lights and I'm thinking about doing a uh, laid-back live on Friday 
and hopefully and the only way I'll do this do the live is if I've got this all done and we can go ahead and put in the um, different pearl X that I want to put in like this one is pearl white and I'm hoping that'll look really good for the highlights but I have to be able to seal the piece first and discuss how I'm doing it so I'm hoping that way we can start a new thing next week. I'm not on Instagram, Pearl. I'm reading chat. So what I'm trying to do is I'm <laughs> trying to blend. It's ruining my life. <laughs> I'm trying to blend out so that when I take a bigger tip to do the dark background, that I have some wiggle room. And that way I don't cover up any of the arms or fingers or whatever we want to call it. I'll still get a small tip in there to even out the color because based on my heat level and how I'm and what pen I'm using, we can see that it's a little darker brown versus th this um, duller brown. But I need to keep it even as much as I can. So we will go back in and fix that. And if I'm a little off, I'm not stressing about it because nobody's going to know that I'm off. It's just not worth the stress, especially when I'm already dealing with it being ugly and having to force my brain to not give up on it. And I think that's the biggest thing when you're in the ugly stage for a long time is your brain starts wanting to give up. Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. And I don't want to. So as I put more in. Teresa, look at the ears here. Hey, Teresa. Things should start standing out more. In fact, that is the wrong spot. There we go. Fill that in. And then for the dark background, I've done two layers, as you can see so far. I didn't finish the second one. Um, and that has been, the first layer was with the 18L set on three. Again, this is basswood, so it's going to require less heat to get some of the darker burns versus birch. In other woods, the um, sorry, the basswood's good like that. And that's why I picked it. And I'm just trying to get some little darks in here. These this is something that's really small, and I've changed the shape of, so my brain's having to refocus. All right, let's straighten out this arm. And thin it out and then I'm, I'm gonna get this area and I think and we'll switch over to the dark background so how many of you when you stay in the ugliest stage for too long want to give up and walk away and say yep I can't do this me yeah sometimes and how many of you when you feel like that keep going with the piece I do, because I know that if I don't, that you will hassle me. <laughs> Who, me? Yeah. Hassle you? Yeah, and what, why would I want you to finish and the piece? Also, because of my innate sense of professionalism. <laughs> That's funny. Why would I want you to finish? So that I learn, and that I get the feeling of accomplishment from pushing through the the part that's ugly and knowing that it is just a stage and not the end result. Yep. Sometimes you know when it's the wood and sometimes it is the wood or the burner. Something outside of your control is causing issue and that might be something lo worth looking at starting over. If you know you got another piece of wood and it's going to work better out work out better then that is definitely something to consider but when it's in your hands and a lot of times it's in our hands it's better to keep going even if you never show that show any person that piece it's because you going. already no well, it's not my fault <laughs> I had a hard time sleeping last time. <coughs> um, 
So we got some good comments from chat. Yeah. Burl says, nope, I slowly plow through it. Can't start a new one until current one is finished. Oh, I some, wish I can go back to that. Some, pe some pieces are like that for me. but I wish I could go back to that. I have five pieces in my studio right now that are in, in a pause state for over a month. I miss just working on one piece and moving on. Um, Sheila Edwards is here. So hey, sorry. Sheila. Andrea says, I try, I stop, and I go back later. Good. As long as you go back to it. Because at some point, use this hand. At some point, you are going to learn something. Failing is the best way to learn. Sometimes you need that space away from it yes. to get get perspective, so that you can um, you can actually pursue the piece to finish. All right, I've switched over to the 18s and I'm on to four, and all this is going to be evil, evil. It's going to be evil strokes. <laughs> oval strokes. What? I meant to say oval, and it came out wrong. Oh, oh, oh oval. Not evil, oval, Sorry, but it came out Sorry, elbow wrong. strokes. I'm like, what? Well, keep your elbow going. Uh, Goha says, I have a hard piece now with lots of details, and so many times I wanted to give up. I'll keep going just to learn and practice. Most of the time it turns out really well. Yep. Yeah. And even if it doesn't turn out well, the next time you do it, you will have learned so much from the, the previous piece that it one will be easier, and two, you can visualize the pre the problems beforehand and be ready for it and see this pen is burning differently and some but I need to get it pulled out to this line and then I could always switch over to another pen but I'm just going to try to blend it out and do a negative burning around the snowflake to pop it because those darks, both in and out, are what's going to make it, in theory, as long as I pull it off, glow. You're, you're going to pull it off. No, sometimes things happen. No. Um, based on what I'm seeing, you've already pulled it off. Right now, to me, this piece is so ugly to me. But I have to keep telling myself, keep going. It won't stay ugly. No. You can do this. <gasps> no, it will not. Goodness. I'm sorry. I was up so many my back and my my legs hurt last night. Mm. So I'm sorry. I'm a problem. So with this pen I can use the edge to cut in where I don't want a halo. But as I keep darkening I know I can even this out. Excuse now remember, you've got the light differently. Mm -hmm. See, every time I move the... If I actually pull this camera back a little bit, it should stay... It does change it. ...the right color. Because it keeps changing, and I know. Mm. Ah, and here we go. All right. Now that means I need to sit back further. All right. And I touch down in some place dark that I've already burned because I put my pen down. And it would be a blob if I didn't. Blob. The blob. So I'm going to switch over to where I was, what I was doing with the dark. Just so we can see how I was doing it. Um, very similar to the skull. Grab the right pen. Not the right pen. Where did I put it? There it is. Make sure it's clean. We do have a little bit of carbon on it. If you run your fingernail over it, you can feel and kind of hear. It's not oxy oxidization. It is carbon. And this is the first time I'm wiping my tip, doing the whole dark. You don't want to do that with a hot pen, right? Not a hot pen. It's not even plugged in yet. Okay. You know, it doesn't have to be unplugged, it's just I haven't gotten... Just reminding folks about the safety. Yeah. If it was a hot pen, I would be using wax first to loosen up the carbon. I have kind of a funny story that's somewhat related. 
During okay. one of the deployments, I had a um, <coughs> I had to buy a local um, uh, transformer. Talk to a convert, little louder. Convert the the uh, two two twenty two thirty. Yeah. That where we were uh, at where we deployed it. That back down to um, mm-hmm. one ten to run my work computer and. It was really cheaply made, and I kept and it had a, a linking um, cord that was like it kept coming out, and so I would un uh, it's every time it come out, my shape computer would shut down, and so I was having to go in and I'd have to shut you know pull it out, pull the transformer out of the power supply, and then I would unplug the the part that went into um, my computer and bend the prongs so that they would stay in the socket you know properly and I had to do this and I kept having to do it because it was so cheaply made and I got into a rhythm except I screwed up once and I forgot to take it out of the live socket <laughs> and so I grabbed the prongs and um, Oops. the guy, guy who was with me uh, another, another soldier named Rob because I was sitting there on the floor and all of a sudden, I started waving my arm <laughs> like this, and I was using all kinds of profanity all at once. Yeah, that's not good to. And then it, the socket flew out of my hand, and he was like, "You okay, dude?" And I was like, <laughs> "I'm sweating." And he's like, "What happened?" And I was like, "It felt like a chihuahua it was biting me so fast." <laughs> and uh, yeah, so that was like, don't, you know. Like and I was this I was like the unit safety guy. So. You were the safety guy. Yeah, electrocuting. Like, partial bill. Let me show you something. Um, but yeah, so don't drive. Don't don't grab a hot pen or don't don't grab a, a live circuit because if, you know, if it's two twenty, I found out because you know each 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 type of voltage has different cycles. Yeah. And I found out what that frequency was for two twenty. And apparently it's this. <laughs> it's that. <laughs> and I had absolutely no control over my body. It was. It was. It I'm was, laughing after the fact. If I saw it happen, I'd be very upset. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh god, and I was sweating so bad when I got done. It was only a few seconds, but it, like, I felt like I had just like run, <coughs> like, you know, quarter mile. <laughs> so. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is the 18L, and I am on four and a half. And I keep overlapping the strokes in order to blend everything out because sometimes it'll lay down darker in some areas and not as much as others. So I'm moving into other areas in order to blend it out. Girl hmm. says, and don't go near chihuahuas. <laughs> And how? Uh, forever learning artist here. Hey, Michael Ian. I like when I can remember people's usernames. I was just thinking it's it's impressive that you do. Well, they took the time to stop by. I try to take the time to make sure and learn names as much as I can. But Michael Ann's been around for years. Yes, he has. Much appreciated. So I'm just going over and over the same area, trying to blend it out. If I slow down, it's going to be darker. Sometimes I can switch up the stroke a little bit to match an area. But what I want is to blend it out as much as possible. So we want it smooth. And I'm going to end up having to go another layer. In fact, I'll switch over to the other side here in a second. I'm going to have to up my heat. And that's one of the reasons I was holding off on this snowflake, because I want to get all the I wanted to get all the dark in, so I could go right in, versus back and forth. So this is four and a half, and I do try to control my speed. Sometimes I speed up, sometimes I slow down. Luckily, I'm talking because for whatever reason, doing dark backgrounds makes me sleepy. <laughs> Yeah, you know, you're talking about doing something similar to what I, I just talked about. You were talking about using my TENS unit to, I did. to I, stay awake. 
Well, that and for the pain. But yes, to stay awake, I was talking about using his tinge unit in order to... And that's with me listening to, to, vi to very loud, heavy metal in my headphones, in my ear, singing along. <laughs> I'm still like do trying not to doze off. I tend to be stubborn when I'm falling asleep and don't want to stop whatever I'm doing. But when it comes to burning, I stop. You know, you, you had me when you said I tend to be stubborn. <laughs> it's a very true statement. All right, so this is five and a half. We're getting a little red on our tip. So I'm going to use least amount of pressure as possible. Michael Ann, we are I can actually healthy. go down to five. Thank you. Yes. Won't be able to see the grandkids. It's okay. But we got turkey. <laughs> it just means next year I get to have them longer. So I bumped down to five because it's a little harsher than I wanted, but it's in the corner that's going to be under the frame, so I'm not stressing about it. But I don't know how well the camera's, well, it's picking up a it's little bit then. Then I'm going darker. And I have a feeling this is about as dark as I'm going to be. Burl says it's hypnotizing. I would agree with that. But I'm listening to, you know, 70s and 80s Judas Priest with heavy drums and bass. But I can't say much about that, because when my son had band practice, I'd ask him to turn it up, because it would put me to sleep. You know, and that's playing, playing punk rock. <laughs> I could see like this on a, like this is not your typical like PBS show like a Martha Stewart thing. Like today we're going to learn how to burn some snowflakes. This is a, you know, this don't is do a your voice. Don't great do your... project for your family. No, and then the classical music plays. No, this is it's time to be, it's time to burn some snowflakes. Let's burn those effing snowflakes. <laughs> and then cue the double pay, bass pedal and yes. the, the heavy metal guitar. Yes. No, bass. I'm more of bass than oh. guitar. Gohoff fell asleep while burning and destroyed one of the, their pieces. I have dozed off um, and got a very dark mark where I didn't want one. And a little while back, I was burning. I was like, ah, I just rest my eyes for a second. No! <laughs> and I was doing this. It's like, as long as I keep my hand moving, I can close my eyes. But no, you can't. Well, what I thought was funny was when you were, well, it wasn't funny that you're hurting, but when you're in bed and playing Skyrim and I'm watching her play, and all of a sudden, her her character is just walking into a wall continuously. And I look over, and she's like... <laughs> <laughs> Yay, you can't say much, because you do the same thing. You do the exact same thing. That's true. So this is about how dark as I think I'm going to take it. Now, when I seal it... <coughs> excuse me. It is going to look darker. It's going to look deeper. Because really what it is right now is I'm basically, I am evening out the tone. Because some areas were darker on four, but now it's blending out into the darker area. You're not going to make it all uniform, are you? What do you mean? Well, I like the texture. Which texture? This? Yeah. No. No, no, not that. That's nasty. I'm talking Don't about like where it. you're working right now. Like. Well... It's wood. It's never going to be absolutely perfect. If you see a perfect black background on the internet, the photo has been altered. Some woods burn better, and you can get a smoother. But the minute the light hits it right, you'll see the difference. And see, I am getting some carbon. That is carbon on the tip because I'm going hotter. <coughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to bump up quickly to 10. I'm going to let it go cherry red long enough like this, and then I'm swiping across my block of wax. Gotcha. And I'm going to let the wax you know, that, that brings up a point. burn off for a second. I'm going to shut off the pen because I don't want it hot when I do my next part. Go ahead. Uh, I was just going to say, because like when you, when I started out in art, well, seriously, 
art when I was serious about it. I got disheartened because I saw other, you know, artists work and I was like, oh man, like, how are they doing this? You know, I thought, oh, I just suck. And nope. I, I found out that there are some things that are, some, sometimes, the, you know, many times the artist is that talented and yeah. skilled. And sometimes it's a little shady. There's some shortcuts or something like that. And I would say in wood, wood burning and pyrography, you know, there are laser machines. And oh, you can tell those you, and you pretty can, much off the... But there's, it's good to know that there's some things like that if you learn how to see them, you know that what is, what is skill and what's artificial, you yeah. know? In fact, that's why I have the light off overhead is because I would get a glare more so and see if I even move it this way, look how much darker it just went. It's all a matter of lighting and camera angles. Now I'm also doing this piece of wood because it's a quarter inch and I am starting to get some bow from the, the dark background. But that is not enough to keep it from not framing nicely, so I'm not going to worry about that. Make sure I turn my heat back down to where I was at five. The tip's all clean, and we are ready to go again. Are you getting more carbon than normal? Or is it no, it's because I'm on five, and the higher your heat level, the more carbon you're going to get. Goha wants to know what kind of wax the Goha just uses fine sandpaper. Oh, no, 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 no sandpaper on your tips. <coughs> no sandpaper on your tips. It will completely reshape your tips and they will burn differently and not in a way that you like them to burn. It is just paraffin wax and or canning wax. And because Spence wasn't sure on it, I'm actually going to go down to four and a half to fit in here. I looked it up. Uh, tea candles. Because white non scented tea candles will is the same exact wax. Really? Yep. Huh. Yeah, so you can just have that candle sitting right next to you. Because this is what my I don't think I showed it. This is my block of wax hitting it to clean my tip. This on here is carbon that the wax is pulled off. It's a whole thermal thing that science, yeah. So science. Yeah. So all those divots you see is just where I've, like right here, that was a quick swipe of my tip. And when I say quick swipe, I'm just like this. And this is obviously is not even plugged in, but it's just a quick swipe. I do have a video on using the wax and cleaning your tips properly, but sandpaper, tea strainer, <coughs> anything uh, that is abrasive will ruin your tip. I use... Well, you saw the strop, and the white stuff on the strop is aluminum oxide. I like the powder form. I got this from Mountain Wood Carvers. They have the strop uh, powder set. So Spence says I use a tea candle. Yep, the tea candle. As long as it's the white clear wax and unscented, you can use that. Shirley Mallar wants to know, is that a block of canning wax? Yep. Yeah, that's all it is, is a block of canning wax. Um, you know, scientifically... It's thermo if, heat If you're using sandpaper, sandpaper yeah. is designed to degrade. So it's hard. It's harder than, than the metal. You know, um, and so it's going to it's gonna uh, abrade the surface. So if you're going to preserve your tips, then you clean it with something softer than the tip. Yeah. Well, even the aluminum oxide is still abrasive, but it's so extremely fine that it's not putting the micro gouges. And um, I showed it in a video, but I'm trying to see if I can get a hold of the tip that I reshaped accidentally. And I didn't realize this, and actually, I don't think I can grab the tip. It's in the video. I can't grab the tip. Well, that that was during your early days. That was my nibs burner. That was my first wood burner for the first 10 years. So you, you had to learn the hard way. I, oh, very much. And, but I was told, and as much as I love Alice, but I was told by Alice to use sandpaper, fine grit, grit sandpaper. So 
when you went to ask Alice because you thought she'd know. Yeah. She didn't know. Um, yeah. Something similar happens when you're sharpening knives. If you have a pocket knife that you've had for years and years and years, the blade just gets thinner and thinner and thinner, mm-hmm. and then you have like this, this really thin, weird-looking blade. You know, if you've had a knife for like 10, 15 years, and you keep sharpening it. Because it keeps getting smaller. Yeah. So. so I just bumped down to four and a half to to get in this lighter area. I just wanted to show the the five. How long are you going today? Because we're at thirty four minutes. Out. Oh. Okay. Well, I'll wait and see if there's any questions while we're here. And are you guys interested in a live on Friday? It'll be the same time. Black Friday. Ugh. We're just gonna hang yeah. out. And we're not going to stress about all that We can stuff. simulate it. I, I can bring Nerf guns in and we can fight over something. Tss. Or she'll win. Of course I win. Um, Goha so, says, wow, this is awesome. We'll save my tips. Thank you. Yes. I know some people don't care about re- replacing their tips. That they think that that's what's supposed to happen. So they run their, their pins and tips on cherry red and they use abrasive material the thing is is in this particular art form we need our tools in order to create our art why spend extra money if all it is is a matter of having good habits that you don't have to replace this pen is one of my four oldest pens you can see how she, I actually need to clean it because I used it last night. So there's a little carpet. This pin is three years old. And it works the exact same way as the day I got it. So, if you love your tools, they will love you back. Something worth mentioning is that when, like, because there are burners out there that burn at cherry red. But, like, when you heat something up to where it starts changing color, because these tips the are tempered. Yep. And um, when you heat it up to that, then it's much much easier to bend that, that break key, yeah bend or break like part of the process of, of like welding and you know when you're sculpting and bending materials to heat it up cherry red so you can bend it easy you know and and if they're already using a cheaper uh metal to make the tips and there are different grades of nichrome wire if they're using a cheaper one when you heat cherry red and keep using it, that metal has more flaws in it and it's going to degrade faster. Yeah. So, chat is saying uh, about Friday, yes, please. Okay, we can hang uh, out for Sheila a little while. says, yes, please, all cash. Beryl says, sure, Friday sounds good. Spence says, if you're up to it on Friday, I would be interested. Goha says, yes, I'll try to be here. My best to be here on Friday. Andrea said, cool. Number four, Friday. Cool for Friday. Okay. And Teresa says, yep, Friday works. Well, I just know that some people... Guess we're going on Friday. Guess we're going. And that's fine, because we... I, I felt like I shorted them... Was it last week when we didn't do a live? Well, no, the week before. You were hurting. Well, I know, but I still felt like I missed them. And we all have a schedule that we've gotten used to. That's true. And it throws us off. That is also true. So I will get this done, the burn completely done, because that's the only way I'll be able to do what I want to do. I'll get, and I have been recording, so I'll try to get a, a video up after this. But I'm going to go probably as dark as I did right here. All of this of the um, snowflake darks need to go darker. They need to match the background. And I, they need to be cleaned up. Right now, it's just ugly, and it needs to be cleaned up. Josh uh, is here. Thank you, Joshua. But we will definitely get there, and then I'm going to seal this with probably a couple of sprays of UV spray. And then we are going to put on the Perlex in a couple of different ways, I think, because we can dust it on and we can paint it on. So I think we're going to go with a couple of different ways. I also think I might, I'm looking at my photo. This is white. I, I do think maybe I want to put another color in to just give us some different sparkle. So I don't think I will be using 
the uh, white gouache because this should be my brightest highlights should work with this. And we're just going to play with it. That's why I wanted a small one so we can play with it and try some different stuff and see what we think. Well, I can use my uh, application method. And I can just, I put some in my hands and then I sneeze and I go <laughs> into the. No, 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 very no. Precise. No, I still want it to be pretty, even if I'm doing something that I that I haven't done and whatnot. So is it Joshua or is that Dwight Dwight K. Schrute? <laughs> it's Joshua. I'm, I'm a little concerned <laughs> that Josh has Dwight as an icon. Uh, yeah. And do we have anything else? Stick to it, even if it's ugly, unless there is something like physically wrong with the wood and it's not going to allow you to achieve what you have in your head or there's something wrong with your burner if it's not those two things it's you and it's okay you're learning we all learn every piece even after 15 years every piece is still a learning one for me and that makes me happy to say that because I don't want to stop learning because if I stop learning then my brain dies and then I'm repairing. Andrea left a nice comment there. About you missing the... the oh, thank you, Andrea. Yeah. I still feel bad, though, because I miss you guys. Every time we have to cancel live, it it bothers me. She because really you're family with us now. Mwah. And I don't normally do that. But you guys are family. And it, it upsets me. You do. You get really upset. Not that upset. And then I compensate for that by taking a nap. He's the diva. I don't think so. He's the diva. Joshua, is your Uncle Jason a diva? He doesn't know. Yes, he does Don't know. involve him. Yes, he does know. Don't involve him He in knows this. Uncle Jason's a diva. Talk to the hand, because the face ain't listening. Because <laughs> he's still stuck in the 90s. That's why I can't hear you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> if we don't have any more questions... We will definitely, I think we'll do Friday. I'll push to get this done because it'd be nice, especially if people don't have, if everybody's staying home safe and can't be with the ones they love, you can just be with us. Yep. Right? Yep. Ah. <laughs> All right, guys, you know what to say with me. Yep. You're the awesome. love the books. <laughs> you can do this. You can't do that yet. Why? Aww. Because you're a pyro artist. Soon. We'll see you on Friday. Bye. Love you, Josh.